G'day. Today's video is, is um, different from the last few in that I actually get to do some machining with this one. Uh, this is the foot off a portable television. There's two of these actually, one's a right hand, one's a left hand, but this one, unfortunately, broke. Now, it's plastic. Uh, I could try gluing it up, but I haven't got any great faith that that will give me a, a result that'll, that'll last. Um, usually with, with plastic parts, if you haven't got the integrity of the, of the, the base material, you've, you've lost strength and sooner or later it's going to fall apart on you. So what I wanted to do was make up one out of aluminium. And this is as far as I've got, which is basically mostly there. The, the main difference between this one and the plastic one is that the plastic one has got some curves in there and because I need a jig and a bit of bit of thinking time on that one, uh, that's that's where I, I, I got to. So uh, this is all about machining up a pair of these things. So looking at the part, it's a little bit on the complicated side. Uh, that's a straight edge, 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 that's all good. But when you look at from that direction, that's a curve, that's a curve, that's a curve, that's a curve. These ones look like they're off the same center, so that's not so so bad. But it's going to be interesting setting that up. Now, the other problem I've got is that when that's standing, that's around about 35, 40 millimeters high. I've got some 25 mil thick material because that's what's needed in there to encapsulate that part. What I'm going to have to do here to start with, I think, is put on the four flat surfaces here so I've got a datum that I can hold on. Once I've got that, I can then come along and do these surfaces relatively easily, and then should be able to do the curves without too many dramas after that. But first up, we'll get some flats on. This is my first setup, and it's dodgy as all get out. What I've got here is my gaff blocks. I've set them up so I've got a 30 degree face here, and you could use an angle plate for this, you could use an angle vise, but this is just the way that I've, I've thought about doing it. I've got a stop there which is square to that and although none of these surfaces, they're all saw cut, um, are perfect, it's going to be close enough. What I want to do now is come along and put a 30 degree face on here. Uh, I have to do it on the other one as well and that's simply because these are going to be slightly different from the plastic part and so I'm going to need two of these things so I have to make a left and a right but if I can get that on there and then uh, flip this over and get the corresponding parallel face on the other side, I've then got something I can grab in a, a vise and do something with. Now, fortunately for me, the, that surface is the, is the uppermost surface here. So I can go along and put a 30 degree all along there if I want to. Uh, and depending on what this clamp is doing, I may well do that. I put my 30 degree bevel on there, so I've now got a, a plane which I'm working off. I decided after I'd done that, that I, what I really should have done beforehand was, was put a flat on here, but fortunately I was able to pop that into the vise and using that line on the, on the jaw of the vise, come across and put a flat on here. All I really need is that line. This bit here is going to be uh, machined away, but that line is the important thing uh, just to get everything uh, squared up. So I've got this piece, um, which is the mirror image of this one, uh, down and with the two scribed lines there I need to mill that out once again with a 30 degree angle but that will mean that that side is then parallel, if you can imagine that, the, the angle there will be parallel with, with this one and so I can then go to a, to a regular vise so to speak and then put that on and put the angle in there on. Third setup or rather to put that third face on there, I guess. 
I've got that line lined up with my jaw using my uh, parallel trick here and then sitting in behind and I'll use this one just because it's easy to see I've got a block and so I'm relying on that block pushing against that face which is parallel to that one on the vise and that way that will come out fingers crossed this surface will be square to that one and uh, and so on uh, I've got a couple of scribe marks there and that's that's basically where the, the, the flat has to be. I started with that one and then I went to that one. Uh, I then did a little bit of this one, then did that one and then I had to come back and do a bit of a clean up on that. But that's got me basically the middle section of my foot. So that bit there. What I'm now going to do is come along and the, from, from that surface up to here is 32 and a half millimeters high and so I've now clamped using that surface onto the onto the table and I'm just going to take that down because after I do that uh, I'll probably do the the uh, you can see the, the you know the, the straight sides here and here and similarly on the inside and so that should give me pretty much most of this all I then have to try and sort out is these curves uh, and that one's still a work in progress. I'm slowly getting there. I, once again with the block, I held that in the vise and I've trimmed up the, the two ends and then I've done this one. Uh, on this one, I've just finished doing the inside and I've got to flip it around and do the, the outside, or the short side, sorry, uh, there. Then it'll be a matter of flipping it onto uh, its back and doing the outsides of, of the, um, the leg. The, the block here to hold it is is a wonderful um, bodge if you if you're ever stuck in this sort of situation uh, that uh, you know with, with funny curvy parts. And there you are, that's the last of the flat surfaces. I've already done this one. So all that has to happen now is I need to curve that down there and there, and similarly on this side. Uh, I'll need a jig for that, and I'll need to do that in the rotary table, but I've run out of daylight today, so uh, unfortunately that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.